today I'm going to be doing another Zodiac inspired makeup tutorial. I'm trying to make sure that I get that right because I say it wrong every single time and I have to do it like five times over. Today I'm going to be doing Sagittarius and traits for Sagittarius are adventurous, passionate, playful, easygoing, creative and funny. The colours for Sagittarius are quite a random mix so it's taken me a while to figure out colours I'm going to do. Um, the colours are purple, light blue, white, cream and orange. So today I'm going to be doing natural eyes, natural lip because I don't feel like doing a lot of colour. I know there is colour in this sign I'm gonna cheat a little bit because I do feel like this sign is very pretty and it's very kind of natural. I'm going to start off with my eyes as I normally do. I'm gonna zoom you in right now. Okay, that's better. Right, so I'm going to be using my beautiful palette, the Tartlet in the Bloom, in Bloom, Tartlet in Bloom palette. <laughs> it's got some gorgeous browns and some really deep reds and it always smells so freaking good. It smells like chocolate and it's beautiful. We're gonna start off with a white base. So I'm just going to be using probably this entire palette for this video. I'm kind of wanting to just use one palette and not just that really big palette, the Lorock one. So I'm just going to apply this white eyeshadow to the base of my lid. White eyeshadow is oh now we're going to be going in with Jet Setter which is this one it's a dusty brown color and I'm going to be using my angled shadow brush from Real Techniques put that in there la 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 and put that in the crease it's like I've been punched in the eye but it's all good because we're going to blend it out <laughs> I'm going to go in with Rocker now which is the next one along with just a normal eyeshadow brush and I'm going to put that all over my lid I love these colors they're so pretty there we go and then I'm going to add in, we're actually using white and cream, so I'm actually pretty happy with that. I'm actually using the colours that it says, so pat on the backs for Vicky, alright? Right, I'm going to be using Firecracker, which is this one in the, yeah, <laughs> this one. It's a sort of golden shimmery colour. Activist, which, actually no, let's go in with Funny Girl. This one is the brightest one in there. It's the most glittery and it is absolutely beautiful. Wow, I think I added a bit too much. <laughs> Oh dear. I'm then going to go in with the darkest colour which is called Activist. I'm surprised at how dark that is actually. That actually looks quite black. I'm going and I'll go into the Lorac palette. What's happening? I'm going to try this one right here. This brown. Here you mate. Here you get in there. <laughs> yep, I'm happy already. I'm happy already. This is working out pretty fast. Right, I'm just going to add some more white to my lid. I might actually bring in some of my highlighter. Um, I'm now going to add some white to the base of my lid to brighten up because it looks really dull at the moment. And then I think I'm going to add a bit of highlighter on the top just to enhance the lid and underneath my eyebrows and obviously everywhere else because it's highlighter and it just goes all over my face. I'm going to use my base shadow brush with my Jeffree Star Ice Cold Highlighter and I'm going to put that underneath my eyebrow. Okay, cool. Um, I'm then going to put the highlighter in the corner of my eye like that. Get all that shimmery goodness. And I'm going to put that on my cheekbones. I'm going to put my Stila Waterproof Stay All Day Eyeliner on Stay All Day Eyeliner. Stay All Day, Stay all day Waterproof Eyeliner on my lid. And I'll be back because I don't do this on camera. You know me now. I'm going to put some mascara on now. I have just put on my eyeliner. I'm doing like a really fine cat eye. And I'm going to put on my Lash Sensational Mascara from Maybelline and my Better Than Sex Mascara. So I'm now going to contour. I'm going to be using my Too Faced uh, Chocolate Solo Bronzer with my Sculpting Brush. Done, done, done. We're now going to put some lipstick on. We're going to be using the normal thing that I always use. I literally have one nude lipstick, so that's literally all you're going to expect whenever I use nude lipsticks. But I'm using my Rimmel London Kate Moss lipstick in 03. I'm then going to get a little bit of highlighter and just put that on my lips to make them stand out. Okay, so I'm going to get to my face paint and we're going to draw on the... <gasps> Found my white eyeliner! Oh, I lost that. <laughs> I lost that in my last video. <laughs> I don't know where it went, but I found it now. Oh, that's really high as well. I put it really high up my forehead. Mm, no, it's too high up. It's a bit wonky, but it will do. <laughs> right, I'm not going to do any gems, I don't think, to disappoint, um, because I do want it to stay natural. So I'm going to zoom you out now. Okay, so we have a headband thing which I'm going to attempt to put on my head. We will give it a go. I want to say it goes like that. 
<coughs> it's choked. <coughs> Alright, that's all done. Yay! So I really hope you guys enjoyed the Sagittarius Zodiac inspired makeup tutorial and if you would like to please give it a big thumbs up, don't forget to comment down below and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this because I have a few more to go. Um, I'm yet to do Capricorn which may be soon and I'm also going to be doing Aquarius soon as well so look out for that if you know somebody who's an Aquarius or you are an Aquarius yourself. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! so many makeup tutorials guys I'm losing my mind Just